What's going on guys? It's Jermaine Man back on the scene with another video. And it looks like the MCU or maybe the MCU. Well it used to be MCU, I don't know, some years back. We've changed the formula. Now it's the MCU. And look at the box after the receipts here. This uh they're not doing good. This was good right here. This did not have a theatrical release, but it was good. I actually enjoyed that. This right here, this is doing terrible. And, uh, I don't like how they're doing the brothers in these movies, man. Even Black Panther, he didn't get that much screen time. So. I'm not feeling that. Iron Man. Look at the money Iron Man made. Iron Man was good. That was one of the best ones. Hulk was okay. I didn't think it was that bad. I think this this version of the Hulk was the best one. I didn't like the Ang Lee one. It's Hulk. He barely even... He might have said Hulk smash or something. I don't remember. He might have talked one time in the movie. Which is... It's corny. Because that's what makes Hulk Hulk. Because he was more childlike. That's what I like. I like the childlike version of the Hulk. When he didn't talk that well. Going through the, some of these, they're you know the weaker box office of them all. You know, I hope it was down there. Thor didn't do so well. Captain America didn't do that well. And I actually liked all Captain America movies. I thought all all of them were good. When the soldiers were real good, Avengers did did well. And again, take into account that these are not adjusted for inflation. Look it up here. This looks bad. When you consider the ticket prices were considerably higher in 2021, 2022 compared to 2008. So that's not that's not a good look. I mean, personally, I thought Endgame should have been it. The end. It's over. That's why everybody wanted to go see it, because you wanted to see how everything was going to end up. And they should have left it alone for a few years, retooled, you know, map out a new big bad guy, and reboot. That's what you leave it alone for a while. You know, some people are like, you know, the old Robert Downey, Chris Evans things. Like, they're not the only people that can play that. You know, you know you know, especially Robert Downey did well. In my opinion, Robert Downey and Wesley Snipes played those characters so well that they are hard to replace, but they can be replaced. You get someone good, it can, and you write good stories, people will take to it, especially the normies. But this is not looking good, man. And Black Widow, to me, that was dumb. That Black, this movie should not exist unless they made it at the same time they made Iron Man Two. It should have came out right after Iron Man Two. Should have been in that time period. That's what it should have came out. This made no sense. You know, they talk about superhero fatigue. That's possible. It could be too much of this stuff. But Spider Man No Way Home did quite well. Without a China release, it made almost $2 billion. It could be, yeah, I, I think there's some truth to that. But again, I said, after the end game, it should have, that should have been it. It should have left it alone for a while. It could have done a couple of TV shows. You know, what I would have done, this is how I would have done it. I would have ended up end game. I would have had some TV shows to allude to who the next big bad guy is but i would it have been like a total reboot like i wouldn't even reference that stuff it's, it's like with the eternals where were they when thanos was about to exterminate the unit there's no good way to explain that so the, the best way is to leave it alone for a couple years give people a chance to miss it then reboot it that's my opinion that's the best way to do it but if you want to keep it going right Good stuff. Make good stuff. But they can't do that because they have hired 
Because the, the corporation, Disney Corporation, is infested with activists. That's the whole problem. That's why they can't make anything good. You're going to make this stuff. The story has to be here. And then everything, whatever you want to put in it, is under the story. If the story's not, the shit isn't it, then you're wasting your time. It's just going to die, which is what is happening now. But anyways, guys, I'm not going to long stroke it. You can go to the numbers and look it up or do a search on box of the history of Marvel Cinematic Universe. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you like how it's going? Or do you agree with me that they should have ended it and then retooled everything, mapped out a new universe, and come out with a new big bad guy? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me say one last thing. The whole problem with this, what really gets me is the bad guy, which is Kang, has been defeated twice already. So what's the point? They're going to bring out Adam Warlock and Guardians of the Galaxy. Thanos is gone. What's the point? This makes no sense. They're complete total morons. How, do you, how is the bad guy going to be defeated twice already? He should have been in the background. And then, yeah, there should have been some conflict with him, but he should have defeated them or whooped them so bad and they had to run for their lives. And to try to find out a way to beat the bad guy. It's like a video game, and you you beat the final boss on the first board. The game, there's no purpose to the game after that. Once you beat the, the bad big bad guy, that's it. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.